Yo everybody, Rob Orgel, your favorite silencer nut job. In today's video, we're going to be doing, well, duh, muzzle flash test. Now I've got a batch of new suppressors that I figure it's worth finding out how they do on this short little 11.5 inch BCM. Now some cool things about this BCM is one, yes, it's a registered SBR, of course, because the ATF is always watching, and there is a ambidextrous bolt catch and release. That is absolutely the cat's meow. I will put a link in the description, but basically, you can send in your standard AR-15 lower, and he will mill out the catch space for the HK MR556A4 bolt catch and release. We're going to be using M855 steel core penetrators, as we like to do for the night shoots, because it's a bit more abrasive towards that suppressor. Uh, you've already seen the lineup of suppressors, so I'm not going to say it. I'll just cover it as we roll into it. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, baseline with no silencer. Here we go, night blind. Holy cow, I can't see. Wow. Man, you can complain about any silencer you want. Anything is better than that. That is, that is brutal. All right, let's get that first silencer on. Street Goblin. Shot one, I saw a little bit of sparks. After that, I saw nothing. Really, really good performer. And it sounds good. All right, Sig Hexium. Shot one, I saw a little bit. Shot two, I saw even less, but still there both times. Another baseline suppressor. This is the Omega 300. Gosh, I can feel that back pressure. Rhino X. Really, really good. I saw like nothing. Okay, we've got the Ion 556 from LMT. That did not do so good. Ridgeback Rhino S. Really good performer, especially for titanium. Ridgeback Sahara 300. A little bit of sparks, a bit more normal for the uh, titanium. It's interesting that that little one did so much better. Vanish 556. A lot of sparks, more typical of the titanium silencers. Overwatch 762. That did really good. Shot one, little bit of spark. Shot two, I saw almost no sparks. Really good for titanium. RR Ventus 556. I saw just a little bit like a, like a lighter in front. Not sparks, not flash. Just like a little bit of like what looks like a lighter being ignited. RR Weapons Ventus 762. A little bit more muzzle flash on that one. LMT Ion 762. That first one wasn't so great. The second one was nothing. Cat JL Titanium. Really good. Hardly any sparks at all. Okay, another baseline can. This is the Huxworks Flow 556. From what I remember of Huxworks, that was actually not so bad. It seemed to not have the crazy sparks that it did from the past. So I'm actually pretty generally impressed with the Huxworks performance this time. Guys, that wraps us up for tonight's video. Muzzle flash test on some of our newer suppressors. I hope you'll enjoy the content. Make sure you do me that solid favor. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. It really does go a long way for the channel. As always, stay safe, and we'll see you in the comments.